All right, it is Thursday morning. I'm actually gonna daily vlog today because I haven't really daily vlogged in a while. I just did a P.O. box unboxing yesterday. But we need to get to class right now because I have 20 minutes to make the class. Class starts in 20 minutes. 10 minutes till class starts. Got about a 10 minute walk, so yeah. Then we are gonna go head to Mark Sporting Goods out in Birmingham and pick up some essentials for this weekend. So today's gonna be a tackle video, getting ready for tomorrow, and just uh, what today has to bring. I'm not, I'm not gonna fish because I have a full day of three days of fishing on Gunnersville, so we'll do that when we get there. But I've gotta make it to class first. Class was pretty fun. Just kidding, it was all right. But we are headed to, now we're gonna go to Birmingham to get some sporting good stuff because I have not bought tackle in so long. I need hooks, I need weights, I need, I just need to restock on a bunch of things for this weekend. Fuel level low. Gas. Now we got about a 40 minute drive to Birmingham. Grab the stuff, come back, edit a video, and tomorrow wake up extra early and get out and head out to Gunnersville. Hello. Hi, can I get a number one with um, two slices of pepper jack cheese? It is 2.40 in the afternoon. I still have not eaten anything. I really need to get up earlier and not be lollygagging and not stay up till 2 in the morning. We need to get some flipping stuff, some frogging stuff, some swim jig stuff, some more hooks. Like, I'm out of everything, so this, this, should, be a, this should be a pretty big order here. Made it to Mark's. Now we're going to pick up some much-needed Gunnersville essentials here. What's your name, bud? Uh, Alex Perrick. Just put your receipts in the bag. Perfect, thank you so much. You're welcome, man. How are you doing? Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Glad we got that out of the way. I might go over exactly everything I purchased because I barely filmed there. Just because I'm short on time right now and I, I do have a 45 minute drive back to school. But I also need to get ready for tomorrow because I've got to get... I'm not going to bring a lot of rods. I need a flipping rod, a frogging rod, a swim jig, and a Senko. But other than that, I should pretty much be ready to go. I'm just going to grab a small tackle bag and all my rods. I do not have to bring my boat, which is actually really nice. Back to school, right? We've made it to the storage unit right now. I didn't really realize that I have to stop here because I have to get rods, obviously. So let's get some rods ready, make sure I got all my reels. Let's grab some stuff, right? Yeah! Let's grab it up. So I'm probably only going to bring five rods this week. That's all I'm really gonna need. And if I need any more, I'll just take Jordan's rods. I should probably call him up. Should we call him up? Yeah, let's call him up. What's up? Well, that was quick. Well, no, I'm on it. What you need to bring for tomorrow? Yeah. Well, for the weekend. Do I only need? Uh, do I only need a frog rod, a flipping rod, and a swim jig and buzz bait rod? Yeah, I'd maybe bring like a bow, maybe like a big worm or a, a jig too, maybe. All right. Maybe. Just something like that with some fluorocarbon on it, just in case. All right, sounds good. And then, um... Yeah, I mean, you can meet me whenever. I may be, I may, I may be out there. All right, yeah, you can get out there, and then I'll just call you. You want to meet at, uh... Yeah. Uh, what's that place called? Waterfront? Uh-huh. All right, yeah, I'll, I'm going to try and leave by, like, 7. Yeah, that's cool. Whatever. All right. time you want to get out there, just holler at me. I'll... All right, all right, sounds good, dude. I'll, I'll call you in the morning. Sounds good. Have oh, fun. I See ya. Sick rod sock. Don't you just okay? There we go. So let's let's. Let, I gotta get out of here. I'm I'm mum, I'm I'm gonna wait. Okay. So also got my reels. Pack of senkos. So we got all that. Then I'm gonna grab some flipping baits and get out of here. Let's grab those. That looks kind of flippy. That looks flippy. There is everything. Let's put it all in the truck now and get out of here. Okay, we are back. Now it's time for me to edit this video. 
Time to edit the P.O. Box video from yesterday that I never edited, which I should have edited last night. I just got bored of it. But my room is very clean right now, so I like that. Let's get to editing. Okay, so I edit... I don't know, really don't know where I left off in this video, but I, gr I finished the edit, which took me a lot longer than I thought. And then the Canada videos, which you've all been waiting for, finally got released. Me and John had to fix some stuff out about that. But... Uh, just before I want to mention one thing, and I know this lighting, I really need to figure out some better lighting for this room, because this room sucks. Like that, ugh. who's, Rob, stop texting me. So, the first thing I want to address about the Canada videos is, that was episode one. That was, like, episode two is so much better, I think that one's 20 minutes long. Episode one was like nothing really special. Now, now we start to get into Minnesota, Upper Minnesota, Canada remote Canada like there's so much more in the series like episode one was good don't get me wrong but it's about to get a lot better trust me now we're about to get into some real fishing but Rob what Rob what Rob Rob are you serious what, what do you need Rob let me see oh it's all Rob okay Rob don't text me I'm trying to do videos Rob okay but anyways so that's that there's some freaking crappy lighting Another thing was when I jumped off the bridge, people were saying I was like a baby because I was complaining. We simply were having two 30-minute halves. I mean, he was if somebody got the fish for 10 minutes before you got the fish, would that be fair? That was all I was saying. Me and Chris are like good buddies, so you don't have to worry. We were actually, we were like joking around in the comment section. He called me up saying I was getting a lot of, a lot of hate on that. And yeah, I did get a lot of hate, but that's YouTube, right? I mean, if any guys are starting out or have YouTube channels, you've got to deal with hate because obviously everybody will not agree with what you have to say. That's that. So Canada videos, me getting some hate on the bridge videos, all this stuff from Mark. Today's been a good day, but I need to get, I need to spool up some reels right now. I need to get all my stuff organized. I also got some Carhartt stuff in. Anybody, can you tell what this is? Not this weekend, next weekend, folks. All you hunters, we're going on a trip. Let's get organized, as I would like to say. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so we are organized. Little worm, flipping bait frog, three extra rods right there. New tackle bag coming out very soon. Look at that sharp thing. All that's left to do is put some clothes into that bag. Pack up all the camera gear. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Obviously... Um, this wasn't the most interesting episode, along with the P.O. Box unboxing, or not, yeah, the P.O. Box unboxing yesterday. Even though some of these are not the most interesting, I like to keep you guys up to date with what's going on. Don't worry, the next three days are going to be Gunnersville frogging and flipping, and I've heard that the lake is not on at all, so that should be good too. This should be an exciting weekend though. Hopefully you get on some fish. If not, it's going to be fun hanging out, grilling out, and hopefully, uh, I hope to get a big one on a frog. That's my goal. Enjoy today's short vlog, because it is going to be a Friday when this vlog goes up. And then, uh, don't worry, you'll get to see some long vlogs tomorrow because I'm going to vlog all me going to Gunnersville, me fishing Gunnersville. And that's going to be what it's going to be for the next three days. And, um, yeah, just just stop fishing, I guess. Well, why am I telling you guys to stop fishing? Oh, yeah, because John B. says keep fishing. We'll see you guys next time on AP Bassin'.